How's it going, everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. How's it going? Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about <clears throat> a Nightmare on Elm Street box set and a couple other little deals here. I mean, I got a couple of Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Blu rays and all that, but yeah, this box set. I've been watching Nightmare on Elm Street since I was young when it first came out. I remember watching a couple of them in the movie theater with one of my aunts and all that. And <laughs> I think it was. Um, the third one that we watched in the movie theater, I can't remember, but yeah, I watched a lot of these in the movie theater anyways, but yeah, this is the box set. Give you a little closer look at it. I've had this for a long time. Can't remember what year I bought this, but holy cow, I've had it in my collection forever. I think it's pretty cool, but we'll start off with the, with the, the, the nightmares alive book. Pretty sweet. Robert Englund portraying Freddy Krueger. <clears throat> but that's an awesome book. I'm not going to go through the whole thing to show you a couple pages here. You can probably buy this box set right here. Probably pretty cheap. Oh, yeah, it goes through each movie here. So you got Nightmare on Elm Street. And Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Revenge. I think this is the weakest film out of all of them, which I, I like this movie. I like part two. It's not one of my favorites, but it's in probably, it's pretty good. I like the premise of the movie. I like that, the pool scene when Freddy Krueger comes back. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. That was the one I believe Dream Warriors is the one I seen in the theaters with my aunt. This was a long time ago. Me, and my brother, and my aunt, we all went to go watch it. But pretty cool. Dream Warriors. But other than that, most of the movies I watched in the theaters. That's pretty cool. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's go through these DVDs real quick. Here's the first one. What was cool about these, if you put in the computer, it had an interactive um, type trivia games and stuff like that. I remember that. But each DVD had an interactive type deal for it for computers. And I remember that fondly a long time ago. <laughs> trying to do that. <clears throat> but very first Nightmare on Elm Street. Classic. Okay, then we got Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Pretty awesome. Then we got Dream Warriors. This is probably one of my favorite uh, movies was Dream Warriors. It was great. I remember being in the Saint Asylum, that one kid being strung along with his veins in there, and <laughs> that was pretty sweet, but pretty cool. Eventually, I have to go through these movies again, rewatch them all. That's a great. Maybe that would be one of my Halloween type themed movies. Go through all the Nightmare on Elm Streets, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Warriors. Oh no, The Dream Master. Yeah, the sequel to that, Dream Warriors, kind of continues on. Pretty awesome. And we got <clears throat> kind of, kind of, this one kind of gets out there. Nightmare on Elm Street, part five, The Dream Child. Yeah, about well, pretty sweet. Yeah, Dream Child. Freddy Krueger returns to deliver a whole new breed of terror in the most fiendishly perverse fright fest ever yet. Unable, overpowered. Yeah, it's a, it's a great movie. <laughs> watch it. They're all pretty good in their own ways. There's Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare. This one was probably almost, eh, I will say the weakest out of the whole bunch besides part two, but it was still a great movie. I like it. The soundtrack to this movie was pretty sweet, too. <clears throat> I think I have the soundtrack in my collection. I have to <clears throat> do it like a a movie soundtrack sometime with some of my favorite movies and have to follow that one out because that was pretty sweet. Then we got Wes Craven's A New Nightmare. Kind of breaks the fourth wall in this one. <laughs> it was it was 
this one was pretty creepy as hell when you watch this one. It was really, really good. Then that final one is um, the Nightmare Series Encyclopedia. I believe this is uh, Welcome to Prime Time. So here's the thing here. Well, Nightmare Encyclopedia. Awesome. It says, uh, Welcome to Prime Time, a documentary exploring the nightmare prelude to the labyrinth. Then you got the labyrinth. We through the interactive environment and unlock the mysteries of the franchise. So it's an interactive DVD. I don't think I've ever played this part of it before. I should try it out. Yeah, pretty sweet. All right. I'll put all these movies back in the box here real quick. <laughs> Uh, that's a pretty sweet box set. Eventually, I'm going to get the 4K versions of these movies, but check it out. Nightmare on Elm Street on DVD. Now, for special ones here, I got the Blu-ray, a Nightmare on Elm Street collection, all seven original um, Nightmare films on Blu-ray. I bought this used, I believe. I didn't buy this one new. But, yeah, that basically... All the movies on Blu-ray in here, so, yeah. Pretty much all of them. Oh, say one, two, three, four, five, say one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they must got two movies on one disc, oh. So, yeah, they got, like, two movies on one disc right here, so, yeah, yeah. Freddy's <clears throat> Dead and Wes Craven's The New Nightmare. Yeah, so they got, they moth, they kind of put random in the two and then <laughs> this one was uh, jackie earl haley's version of nightmare on elm street doing freddy krueger i kind of grew on this movie when i first watched it you know i was kind of down on it but after watching it a few times i can't be really too upset about it they had their own vision of the movie and this one's definitely a lot scarier than the original one, so yeah, I give it that. It gives a little more backstory, I believe, in this movie, so yeah. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, I guess to a point. Watch the originals first and all that, and watch this one, then you can, be the, you can judge it on your own. But yeah, that's my little collection right there. I got more stuff. I got probably VHS tapes and stuff like that. I probably even got a laser disc of one of the movies. Who knows? But yeah. I just talk about the DVDs and a couple Blu-ray sets there I got. But let me know what you think of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And give me a thumbs down. Let me know. Comment down below. What do you think of Nightmare on Elm Street? Do you got any of these movies? Let me know. No comment. Comment down there. And subscribe. Please subscribe. I like more subscribers. I got, I think, 127 now. I'm getting there. Slowly creeping up. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.